But first, as I mentioned, the Australian Federal Police has today launched an investigation into the incident involving Lydia Thorpe and officers at a transgender rally in Canberra yesterday. The independent senator stormed the event, draped in an Indigenous flag, and tried to force her way onto the stage. She is very clearly the aggressor here. She pushes a private security guard and disobeys direct orders by police to back off. There's absolutely no evidence in this vision that she was pushed over, as it's being reported as fact in many places. Police attempt to remove her, as is their right, given her behaviour, and she goes to ground. Now, you make up your own mind how she ends there. This is what she said afterwards. I got pulverised by the police, so I've been assaulted by the police today. As a, as a sovereign gun Pulverised. How does the security guard she shoved and pushed feel? And why is she bringing race into this? How offensive to those officers who are just trying to do their jobs? They are not here for you to perform political stunts on, Lydia, which is what that was. How sick must they feel about all of this? They are, in bloody difficult circumstances, just trying to do their jobs and keep people, including you, safe. Our police force isn't perfect, but I can give you the nod, we'd be a whole lot worse off without them. Seen the crime rates in the US at the moment, off the back of the defund the police movement? Is that what Senator Thorpe is trying to achieve here? I hope not. There is one glaring issue in all of her altercations with the police. And I can assure you it's nothing to do with those wearing blue. The rally in Melbourne. You are the criminals! What? You are the only criminals on this land! Mardi Gras in Sydney last month. <laughs> and now this, seriously. Protest, absolutely. Be passionate. Be over the top if you must. Even be outrageous if you like. But to try and use the men and women of our police force in a physical way to politically point score is appalling. For an everyday Australian it is, let alone an elected senator. <laughs> 